So in going back a little ways, you mentioned the relation. So when you're talking about getting, you know, if you're feeling anxiety or depression, like talk to people, have conversations. I know in the past, I think you mentioned it briefly in our last conversation, the blue zones, right? And I know relationships is one of them. Could you dive more into the blue zones that so specifically impact our lives from, a, from a, not only just a happiness standpoint, from a longevity standpoint and how long we live? Certainly. Okay, so, so when they talk about blue zones, these are the places in the world that have the highest uh, percentage of people that live to be over 100, right? These incredibly long-lived societies. And there's a few of them out there, right? Yeah, and, and they find that there are common denominators. Um, the five common denominators that uh, they generally wind up seeing, um, their relationships, the depth of their relationships is massively important. Um, their mindset, like they're not stressed out about stuff. If you talk about being safe or unsafe, these people are, have got the whole safe thing figured out. Like, <laughs> we're going to be fine. But you talk about like, cortisol and all the stress and all this stuff, like, get rid of it. <laughs> that is killing you. That is way more dangerous than whatever you're stressing. About. Really. So your relationship, your mindset, all that, uh, they sleep right? <laughs> they actually let their body do the important work of restoring itself and maintaining their body. Um, their nutrition, they, they may come as a, as a shock, but they don't uh, eat the standard American diet. Um, now, there's a, there's a huge array of different sort of cuisines out there. Let's talk about, oh, this they have this much protein and this much carb and this much fat. That doesn't really matter that much. We are omnivores. We can survive on boot leather for months, right? Like we are like the ultimate survivors. We, we are so good at surviving and stuff, okay? But the problem comes when we have a bunch of junk that's available to us that, that totally derails our system. That's, that's where the standard, standard American diet, that's where all the sugar and all this other crazy stuff that we're putting in our body that never existed <laughs> 100 years ago. Um, but it tastes good. <laughs> I know, right? It does. Ah. And, you know, those people in the blue zones, it's not like they weren't drinking wine or smoking, right? Or having sugar when they could get it. But generally speaking... This is a much lower calorie diet. Like they're not eating to the point where they're stuffed all the time. They're not eating more than they need to do what they need to do with their life. Right? And we say, oh, yeah, food is fuel. Okay. If food is fuel, then why are we continuing to fill our gas tank when we're not driving? Right? Or filling our gas tank with sugar when the car runs on gasoline. <laughs> that too <laughs> yeah so so the nutrition side is is massively important but it doesn't have to be that complicated like, you want to make nutrition complex it's easy to do you google what's the best nutri like i'm sorry but you're gonna get a million bajillion results there's this is crazy so there's fifty thousand new books on diet and on like nutrition and health published every year in this country, 50,000 new books a year, Jeez. right? There's not that much new information. No. It's, it's, you know, it's mostly spin, right? But you, you can see like people trying to solve this problem. They're like, Oh my gosh, you know, what, why, where do I start? And the, the devil's in the details, but you know, one of the key, one key concept is that the principles are few, the methods are many. If you understand the principles, you can make your own methods, right? And so that, that kind of goes with, with the whole thing. We have, we have this adaptation machine, it's incredible. Uh, if we abide by the rules that govern our nature, that's how we get this, this body to do what we want to do. Um, it's a, 
great quote along that line that, that really kind of sums that up. Uh, Sir Francis Bacon, he said, nature in order to be commanded must first be obeyed, right? So when we don't obey the natural laws that govern our body, that's where we run into disease. That's where we run into, into these problems. Um, and so these people in the blue zones, they're keeping their nutrition very simple and they're obeying the natural laws of their body. They're connected enough to their body to understand, you know, what it, what it feels like to eat something that feels that is good for you versus eating something that doesn't work that great for you, right? They're connected enough to their system to feel the signals. If you don't feel the signals and you're eating junk food, your signals are jammed. It's still, it's still hurting you just because it doesn't feel like it's hurting you doesn't mean it's not hurting you, right? So, and then let's see, yeah, the fifth one is movement. These people are not, well, some of them are extremely active. You, you find um, societies that are running all the time, all over the place, not necessarily like sprinting <laughs> stress likewise, but it, that's just how they get around, right? These people on average are walking like nine miles a day, just doing their daily thing. Wow. And, and so like they're active, they're moving. It's not necessarily anything super crazy, but they're fit to the task and they're bopping around and, you know, they're, they're just having a good time going to visit their buddies and have some wine and, you know, eat a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know, they don't worry about it. That's, that's the key, right? And so many of us are like, ah, oh. there's, there's an old story where, you know, guy's taking a vacation and uh, he goes down to the seaside and sees this, this little fisherman. And this guy's kind of a hot shot business guy. So he goes and talks to this fisherman and says, well, you know, you could do all these things to in increase your fishing business and, and, you know, you make all this money and, you know, so the fishing fisherman is saying, well, okay, well, why would I want to do this? And essentially, you know, it goes through this whole big process. Well, you know, then you could, you know, relax on the beach whenever you want. And the fisherman is like, dude, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> fishing. I'm relaxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so, this, this, this sort of um, perspective around our lives and like on the one side, yes, we, we want to be able to achieve something. We want to be able to create impact. But if we kill ourselves in the process, um, we're kind of losing sight of the, of the, of the aim in the first place. So anyway, that's, that's kind of where the like quick kind of summary of what that, that whole blue zone study is all about. Uh, it's, it's very counter to, to our modern life here in, in America, really. And I think there's a lot of lessons that we can, we can take from that, just in terms of, of simplifying things. And really, this whole quarantine situation, um, you know, it kind of forced us to slow down. And, you know, there's a lot of really rough, tough things that are coming out of this. Uh, and so I'm not trying to... Um, bring it down or whatever but if there's any sort of silver lining at all it's it's that we get people to stop and take a look at what's happening and 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 reevaluate the things that are important and how they want to structure their life one you know this, this caught a lot of people unprepared talk about surprises that are lethal like this is a this is one of those things that that were you know it's been tough Really tough to say the least for a, for a lot of businesses for a lot of people, um, and it really exposes a lot of the gaps that we've been been allowing uh, within our system. And so, you know, some lessons that we can learn from that is that we can we can <laughs> one try to make our businesses um, you know, more stable to to be able to weather storms like this to make our, our family life more stable, to be able to weather storms like this, to be able to actually be home and be present with, with our wives and children or you know, whatever, like to be more connected to people. Like it's really easy to take it for granted that you can just go meet up with a friend for coffee anytime you want. Well, now we know what it's like when you can't. Yep. So 
there's there's a lot there that if we take a step back and we, we look at it, this is a huge opportunity for us to, to really restructure our lives um, and, and, and model it in a way that is actually going to get us get us closer to what we want now. Absolutely. Just go from hang out on the beach. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So to make sure I heard you, all five of them, so it, the Blue Zones <laughs> is movement. No, I just want, because like, obviously recaps important, make sure I heard you right, but movement, um, ment, a mental mentality, right? Your mental kind of out, out mindset. life. Uh, yep. Mindset, yeah. That, and then relationships, nutrition, and sleep. Yes, sir. Right? All right. So, it's, yeah, it's amazing when you think about, like, how, how um, when you kept talking, the more and more, and the more and more thing that kept popping in my head was the fact that the United States of America, as far as I'm aware, has the most advanced medical system in the world. And yet, for the first time, I think, in a, like, ever, our actual life expectancy went down the last couple of years because how many people are moving? How many people are putting get actual fuel in their bodies versus not fuel? I like the analogy you use, why are you putting fuel in a car that's not running? Um, and it's just, you know, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to shame anyone. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad by that watches this, but it's just, it's making me reevaluate like how, like our, how many things are we doing for ourselves versus doing because we think we're supposed to because everyone else is doing it. Right. And it's just, it's really, it's an interesting concept that, um, I think it's only in, 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 on that, we're also seeing depression skyrocket. We're seeing, you know, obesity skyrocket. We're seeing a lot of these things that are somewhat preventable go up. And yet we have the most advanced medical system in the world. 